How do y'all? So Trader. And today we're doing another God Squad. Uh, this will be a one-off, a um, random one-off unit for the project of making the Wars Long Lodge God Army. So these are going to be bolt guns. I'm going to make a whole 10-man squad of uh, bolt gun veterans. Uh, why? Uh, because bolt guns are cool. And uh, I want to say, don't quote me, I want to say it was 3rd, 2nd edition, 3rd, maybe 4th edition, sometime early pre-5th edition, we used to be able to take bolt gun vet squads. So, I want to bring stuff like that back. So, I'm going to make them. Um, now, there's two ways to do this. Well, actually, well, three, actually. One, you could go out and buy the GW box, which is $45, which is okay, whatever. You get a lot of cool stuff in there now. And you get one bolt gun. So, $45, $450 for 10 bolt guns. And they're slung like this. So, it's not really that cool. Or... You can do a lots of hacking and chopping and other stuff, then take some space marine bolt guns and stop them on guardsmen, but those could look kind of big. Effective, cheap. I don't know if you can see here, but uh, I have a lot of stuff, and I'm pretty sure I have several hundred bolt guns lying around. It's not an exaggeration. I, I, have, a, I have a problem when it comes to buying miniatures. So that's not important. We're not here for that. It's for Theofist. Or a bottle of whiskey. But, so we're going to do the third option. 3D print them. So, let's go take a look. Okay, y'all. Um, after talking to a fellow gun enthusiast, I was reminded of two that I forgot to mention. Now, I'm not counting one of them because I counted, I looped it in with something else, but the other one I did forget. The one I forgot is this right here. Generic third party. I believe this is the anvil. Don't quote me, but third party's cool. But uh, I have a 3D printer, so I'm going to take every chance to use that I can. And we also have this guy right here. Let's blow that up. Oh, no, 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 don't take me eBay. Oh, we'll be on eBay. Um, This, which actually this is good, because to buy this is $2.99 plus you know, shipping. So if I wanted these bolt guns, I would have to get 10 of them, which would be about 30 bucks plus shipping and taxes. It would probably be close to 40 so, while it's cool and all, I don't want to spend that much. I have a 3D printer, my goal is to be cheap. Though I bought three 3D printers, so I don't know how well that's working, but not important. So after a long, and I mean long, of like six minutes, and four of that was pouring me a glass of whiskey and listening to YouTube, I found what I needed. This. Bolt the arms for Cadians. Uh, link will be below to the courts page I found it on. This is... Perfect, actually. Um, I like it. Um, the bolt gun is proportional, how I like. That hand's a little weird, but whatever. Um, the double shoulder pad, you can kind of see here. Let's see, yeah. That's kind of weird, but I don't mind. Um, they also have this glove hand going on here, what well, I'm assuming is a glove. I'm just going to paint that black, like I paint the leather on, the, on these models. So, all in all, it's not bad. So let's take a look at the slicer. So after using my uh, favorite software, um, Leash, or Leash, Leash, I don't know, no, Leash anime character, whatever this word is in English, I uh, I downloaded it and I set it up in here. By the way, this is my favorite because this is the one I got to work the best. Um, so I cheated, if I'm going to be honest here. I used the uh, auto oriented function and I used the uh, auto generate supports. For this, and then I copied 11 of them, so now I have 12. Um, but after, you know, a more extensive look at this, this is actually a good scope. I didn't get to see the back of the gun that well, and from what I see, it's simple, but... I mean, it'll work. It's a miniature. I mean, it doesn't need to be all that detailed. And I'm gonna have to probably drill the barrels out from just how it looks. But that's okay with me. So, uh, I was smart. I used my, uh, my big brain. And I did a test model, or test print, to make sure it works and to make sure it fits. So let's go take a look at that. So after getting to make sure everything worked on the slicer, I put it on the printer and I printed it off. Um, now this took me about three and a half hours for the print. Uh, real fast, I am using a Anycubic Photon Mono. Uh, they range about 180 bucks, and it's a little 2K printer. It, it works, in my opinion, pretty decent. 
Um, I did print 12, and I did print two batches of 12, just so I have spares, just because in case there are any casualties, and also maybe I could find other ways to use these at a later date. Okay, good news. It printed successfully. No issues, nothing. Bad news, I, I, spilled, I spilled some Agrax. So. But, in the good news, it came out, I'm liking it. Like, I see no major issues. I gotta do a tad bit of cleanup work, but that's just from the supports. Um, so, let's look at the arms, how they compare. So, very similar, um, kind of. So, the forearms on him are thick. That's, that's, a, that's a thick forearm. That, that forearm is the size of his biceps. Actually, yeah. Um, lengthwise, they're about the same. So, let, let me... So if you can you can kind of see there they're very very similar, um. So I say remember I said those are some thick arms. I just want you to look at his thighs. Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a thick thigh. That's thick arms. Here, he is what is known as an upside down triangle. He he got arm day. He forgot chest day though. But that's okay. That's okay. So I'm gonna add some more things to him. I'm thinking like uh, maybe a pistol, some pouches, something, something to you know go with the arms, and maybe another head besides the regular head because I feel the head, regular head's gonna be too small. But uh, I think once you paint it, you won't really notice it. But uh, yeah, I'll get back to you in a minute. So for these, I just ended up getting some guard squads I had lying around. By lying around, I think I have like 30 plus star collectings hidden in the back of my closet. So I've got a 10 man squad out of there. Um, these kits I found on Colts are designed to fit with them. And they end up actually fitting pretty well. So let's take a look at that. So I ended up gluing them on here using just your standard super glue. Um, there was a couple casualties. You may not even know this in this, but uh, one or two of them broke at the wrist. So that's why I ended up putting extra. Actually, you can see it off on the left hand side. But again, it's always safe when working with stuff like this to know that there might be casualties, so go slow and be careful. Now, I talked about earlier I wanted to add other bits to make them look better. So I ended up finding some really cool heads and backpacks, uh, of course. Now, these backpacks look like the Forger Upgrade Bags, which I really enjoy. And these heads were kind of cool. They just had, I don't know what you would call those, pair of like goggles on them. And that gave like a massive step up. I ended up using um, my Grex airbrush to do all the um, airbrush work. By the way, Grex is an amazing airbrush. People give them flack, but the issue with Grex is they are very finicky. And you have to A, know what you're doing, and B, well maintain them. Like, these have to be babied. And a lot of people don't do that. So I ended up deciding to do the black for the leather. Um, you see I did for the backpack and the belts. I did miss the belt, actually, on a couple of them. So to go back later and fix that. The weapons end up just being lead belts. I couldn't think of a good color to go with it, so I just figured standard, basic metallic would work fine. So I ended up finishing up with the painting um, and doing the base. So the base I just did a standard way I've always done them. Um, but I did try to add a little bit more like layering and several colors. Um, here, here was I like, finished. By the way, this is a very proud moment for myself, mostly because it took me a long, more time than I expected this to take. Because of just day life. And boom, man, that last that last little drop of black paint on the rim. It felt so good. Like when you finally complete a squad, when it is done. That is a great feeling. That is a fantastic feeling. Okay, y'all, they're done. We have finally finished the uh, the vet squad. Heavy bolt vet squad is done. It took me about a week worth of work. I mean, in real reality, I spent more time on the printer printing these and you know setting up my STL file than I did actually like painting them. Painting them was a breeze. That was like three or four hours of painting. 
but I have mastered my quick and easy paint scheme. But um, I like them. Those are, I have a couple of small issues I might go back and fix, but for the most part, they are above tabletop or tabletop quality already. So let's take a look at them. Okay, y'all. So this is my first time ever mixing kits from plastic and resin. So I've always ever done an all 3D printed kit on all plastic kit. So real fast, so it's known. The plastic parts on here is the base, the legs, and the chest. The arm of the board gun is one piece, and that's 3D printed. The head is 3D printed, and so is the backpack. Um, those, those I will have links below and down down in the description. Um, I feel like he came out overall pretty nice. I have a couple of minor issues with the, I guess, quote unquote, design of the arms. Um, as I said earlier, they're a little thick, and when they went on, they're kind of hard to get on. So I did actually end up breaking one while painting. So I had to go out and redo a whole arm set, but that was more of an annoyance than anything. But I, know, I think in the end they came out well. And this is another squad down. Uh, again, this squad has no rules, so they're just gonna go in my display cabinet. Maybe, maybe I'll make some rules for it. Maybe make my own little non-official codex. But I'm gonna stop rambling. Um, you saw the pictures, they're done. But they're done, and I mean, you you look at them; they look pretty good. I'm I'm not I'm not complaining too much. But um, this was Rogue Trader. Um, I can always do better. I'm still human, so trying to perfect myself and my painting skills. And uh, thank you for coming along on this journey. I will see you all on the flip side. Stay safe, y'all.